We are just about 24 hours away from the biggest battle that's going to be taking place in Los Angeles, California. It's the Warriors of the Night versus the Killer Clowns, and I like to call them the Creatures of the Night. Nonetheless, though, the two groups are expected to clash this coming Friday, which is tomorrow in Los Angeles, California. Now, we know what's going to be happening. However, the question is, how will it happen? Well, hopefully we're going to get some footage, but we know the Killer Clowns are not going to be backing down, but the same could be said with the Warriors of the Night looking to get rid of the killer clowns in this world finally once and for all now the warriors of the night said it in a number of different occasions that they're not going to back down that they are going to fight against the evil that are the killer clowns and to make sure they finally win and eliminate those uh killer clowns now of course i did get the message earlier today the gaming weekly got the message i got the chance to read it i'm going to go ahead and read to you though the message of what the warrior of the night sent the leader and apparently he seems to be very confident on tomorrow's battle The aforementioned message that was sent to us earlier today was directly sent in our messages on our Instagram. The Gaming Weekly received us earlier, and this is coming from the Warrior of the Night, the leader of the Warriors of the Night, who is expected to battle the Killer Clowns. Here's what the message says, and I quote, We are preparing for the battle of our lifetimes. We have arrived in Los Angeles, and we will try to provide any footage that we can get when this fight happens. I just want all of you to know that we are prepared, and if any killer clowns out there truly think we are afraid of them, they are dead wrong. They need to prepare for themselves because the fight is coming, and if they think they can outpower us, then that's on them. We said to ourselves that we're going to make sure we protect everyone in the communities, and not just communities and cities, but also every state in America, and we are trying to grow to every country in the world as well. We want to finally eliminate the evil that is the killer clowns. They are a stain to this world, and they continue to do their stupid blank because they feel the need to try and fight. Pathetic that they are still doing this. But us warriors of the night, will not be afraid. Us warriors of the night will not back down. We will not back down, and we will not lose this. I'm sending you this message because we are going to film anything we can when this fight goes down. I want all of you to know that we are ready. As for the Killer Clowns, please bring all the fight you need because we promise you it's going to be a very bad night for you. See you all there. You know, I am somewhat excited. I am somewhat excited to know, and I'm gleeful to know, that the Warriors of the Night are absolutely ready and prepared for this fight that's going to be taking place against the Killer Clowns. And they said it best in this message. They said that they're going to finally get rid of the evil, and the Killer Clowns have been a stain in the entire world. And I agree with that. It was despicable for the Killer Clowns to think that they can run roughshod around here. It's absolutely disparaging. They think that they can indeed rule the world. And I can guarantee you, they have so much disdain, but we also have a right to be disdainful because of what they have done to everybody, to every single innocent person in this world. And I can guarantee you that the Warriors of the Night are going to do something about it tomorrow in Los Angeles. Now, I would imagine that this is going to be taking place perhaps tomorrow at nighttime. I don't know. It looks like they're going to be filming something. And hopefully the Gaming Weekly can acquire that footage. And we'll go ahead and show it firsthand in the Gaming Weekly for all of you out there who are absolutely curious for this. Uh, I'm, I'm very curious to see what's going to be transpired whenever that battle of course ensues tomorrow in Los Angeles California as I said before it is the warriors of the night versus the killer clowns aka the creatures of the night as I put it but nonetheless we'll continue on we'll see what's gonna be happening thank you so much for taking the time to join we appreciate all the support make sure to like comment subscribe share the videos for people to be aware and safe and be safe and that's all for it tonight we'll see you next time and coming up next, we're going to provide you the highlights that took place this past week in the TGW stream on the Rainbow Six Siege event. You can see our TGW stars starring in this great spectacle. Take a look at the highlights. Echo. But it was Waters who knocked down Echo. It was a smart move and plan from Echo, Sadly, but it didn't Echo work. Sadly, Echo forgot to watch his other angle and he got taken out. Defender mission and that, that right there was a close call. But it was a call now made from Waters that got his team the victory. Two to one, round four. This is turning point. You know, uh, Rems, again, you probably this picked a fantastic night. This could go to 2 2 night. to 3 2, but only time will tell, Adrian. Well, yeah, it, it will tell. It's a very tight a game right now. Yes.
Obviously, orange team with two and blue team with one. And the team champions themselves clearly can indeed try to do what they can to make sure that they destroy the opposing team. But it could also be the potential challengers, the number one contenders. Because if Echo and Beipo do knock off, Echo, or I should say Waters and Cal, they will have the title shot opportunity next week. And for the contenders right now, after this game, do you guys want to run up another 2v2 off stream? But it's pretty fun playing with other members from TGW. Obviously, TGW being a very um, collective and calm community. Yeah, that's what TGW is all about, though. Making sure that everyone, of course, has a great time. And Callan Waters looking to strike. Oh, I just made Echo and Bapo shoot their own alibi drone out. Making sure that they use the abilities to the best of their ability, I guess, to make sure they indeed win. Action phase, here we go. Blue team at one, orange team at two. Rims, we know this is turning point. This is also match point, as we know. That means that if Callan Waters can knock off Beppo and Echo, they will win the entire game and tournament. And honestly, the question really is, who is, who is willing to stop Callan Waters? I mean, due to the fact that Waters and Cal have been a tremendous role over the last month or so, who can really stop these two? Cal and Waters have been an unbelievable team and have been in an unbelievable role. I know this might sound a little biased, but I am very confident in myself. I believe that I might be able to beat them. Well, yeah, you were, you were involved in the game, as we saw in round one, and it looks like you were trying to make sure you were taking the fight to them. Of course, Cal and Waters were victorious, but you never know. I mean, perhaps if you take a lot of training, and look at this, HV Echo, wasting a little time outside of the window, but Cal, though, knocked down Echo Cal here. getting another possible kill with a punch on the window. And that's oh, it. And oh, no. Sadly, Cal whiffs the shot, and Bapo takes the kill. Cal is out of here. Now, can Bapo clutch the this, last two. or will Water take the ultimate victory? We're going to find out just a matter of moments now. Confidence begin to the build. And, and Waters, Waters got him indeed. With our Friday night R6 contender win. seconds to go five seconds to insertion <laughs> attackers are heading out to defuse a bomb 